In this video, I'd like to share and discuss the completion of our first major milestone uh, for the autonomous platform we call Voltron. This is a full-scale electric vehicle uh, that uh, uses software stack that's an extension of the open source AutoWare platform. And uh, what we accomplish in this video uh, and in this milestone is a steer by wire where the steering is done by computer control uh, and the acceleration is managed manually, uh, where we do real time planning, localization, and control. Our hardware platform is a Polaris Gem E6. Uh, it's a large scale vehicle that's comparable to the size of a car and it sits in between a golf cart and a car. It, uh, one of the compelling aspects uh, we went with this vehicle is that it has an automotive grade lithium ion battery that has a, lo a long range, uh, includes features like regenerative braking. Uh, and so that makes it a compelling platform for making it a, a rough analogy to full scale vehicles. It also has a CAN bus, uh, which allows communication between various modules, including the battery system, the lights, uh, and various other safety features along with um, the overall drive system. We've, uh, since purchasing that a few years ago, we've retrofit this platform, this hardware platform, through various uh, senior design projects with sensors and actuators to, uh, to accomplish the autonomous driving. And so we have two 360 degree LIDARs. Those are located on the front and back corners, providing a complete uh, surrounding view of the vehicle. Uh, these establish point clouds as the, as the sensors spin around in each of those uh, can looking sensors. We also have two stereoscopic Z cameras uh, that uh, in this demonstration we don't use, but will be used in the future. Uh, the brains of this vehicle uh, is a NVIDIA Xavier device. Uh, so that's an on uh, onboard uh, kind of high performance, low battery usage uh, device. Um, we couple that with various other interfaces. Main one for now is a, is a CAN interface, and that's what we use to communicate with a power steering module that's, that's, uh, that allows drive-by-wire, as well as in the future, we'll incorporate the linear motors that we have uh, that drive the gas and the brake for acceleration. And we also have a monitor located here to demonstrate what's going on in real time. Our recent efforts have focused on developing the software stack required for autonomy. Here we're leveraging uh, the platform provided by the open source AutoWare uh, platform. Um, there are many ways to think about autonomy uh, and autonomous navigation. Um, uh, one, one possible way is to differentiate what we're doing here as a kind of engineered or cyber physical systems approach to navigation with a vision based approach. You'll notice in this demonstration, we don't use any vision. Uh, there clearly is the need for vision based information in the future as we incorporate aspects of signage, um, pedestrians, other vehicles, and so on. However, for this particular navigation, we don't require any of that vision-based data. And so the approach taken um, by, by kind of AutoWare and, and our approach is to, uh, is to, in real time, localize the vehicle using stored 3D map data and what's called lanelet annotation. So essentially an enhanced Google Maps. And the fusion of those two together provides us with where the vehicle is in real time in the environment. Uh, and so then we will then plan according a route and then execute that in control. So what you're seeing in this short video is, um, is the localization of the vehicle in real time. In the, on the right hand side of the, of the screen, you'll see gray points. These are the stored high definition map, HD map. 
and you'll see the colored points as being the live LIDAR that's being aligned in real time, providing the localization or the location of the vehicle in real time. The vehicle is then able to steer autonomously uh, to achieve uh, following this light green line, this thin green line, and in this case, essentially executing a 90 degree turn. You see on top of the LIDAR, you'll see several arrows. These arrows represent kind of the direction for the next waypoint in our navigation, uh, essentially where we want to be, that's the green arrow, and the blue arrow is our current steering angle. This has been the culmination of a lot of work, including two senior design projects and various other engagements. Our current team is composed of uh, a great group of undergraduates, and it's important to stress that actually all of the development of this platform has been undergraduate development at UTD. And, and so that makes me really excited about the exposure that these students are getting and the, and the kind of expertise that we're building. Um, I have to give a particular uh, um, shout out to Will. He has been um, the constant champion and driver of this project um, for multiple semesters and this this uh, demonstration is really a culmination of his leadership in in bringing us to this point we have a open source github um, that you can see here uh, follow along with our future progress as we make future milestones uh, in this coming year and uh, and you'll hopefully see us around campus